What's up everybody? Here comes the long-awaited Rings of Power impression. I have only seen the first two episodes, so let's let's get that little disclaimer out of the way. Now, I have not seen or read any review since launch, but in the periphery I have seen that all the reviews of the show is that it's bad, they fumbled the ball, and or it's it's so great. I, I am amazed at how beautiful perfect it is. This is not the case. The show is, in fact, not that bad. And I think that it is more closer to good than it is to be bad. Now, this is in context of knowing one thing specifically. They don't have the Silmarillion. They don't have the rights to adapt anything from the Silmarillion. They only have the Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit, and the Appendices. That is an important keynote to know. Otherwise, you are complaining just to complain... And I think that's even stupider than if they, um, if this show was as bad as everybody thought it was going to be, and rightly so. Amazon's ad campaign up to that, up to this point, has been terrible. It has been marketing this show out to be something painfully political, but it's not. In fact, you don't really get that. We don't get a sense of that in this. This show is immersive in and of itself. That all the characters they come out very natural, even if. They are diverse cast. They, I know the color, the color of people's skin was a big issue for decide, you know, going, oh no, because yes, as there was warrant, there was warranted fear that this was just going to be, they're shoehorning people in and their identity doesn't go beyond the fact that they're black. I'm happy to say that all the black characters in this don't make their skin color their identity. They are actually pretty interesting characters. In fact, like the Diza character, the black elf lady, She's pretty good. I think that she, she's a really likable character in the Dwarven Kingdom. You know what? Just do with that what you, what you may. Watch it and find out. But it's not that bad. The Black Elf character, he's not that bad either. Some people have said that's the weakest storyline, but I don't think so. I kind of am interested to see where that goes. And also what's cool is that in the world building of things, like he's part of like the Elf Frontier Gang. Like they're kind of the far reaches of the Elven, um, elven uh, Defense Force, if you want to call it that. And they're wearing cool Frontier armor compared to their counterparts over on the West Coast. It's just so cool. Some of the world building is really, really interesting. Um, in terms of like angry characters and stuff like Galadriel, um, I can see why they're doing it. I can already see like down the road why they want to why they want to make things the way they do, and it's really to fuel the drama and everything. And I'm really hoping that they're just that they are going to do sort of a faithful, um, faithful at least just uh, you know their an original translate transition into Galadriel's kind of final form, like when she you know when she fully embraces like like the magical aspect and more wisdom oriented uh, demeanor that she possesses in the hobbit and the lord of the rings so that being said right now she is like the sword swinging warrior um war warrior captain that the the uh that the show leads you to believe um i didn't like the casting of elrond i did honestly like if it had to go but it's just i not that he's terrible not like the actor's bad but i just don't think he looks like Hugo Weaving. This this um, Galadriel chick looks can can look closer to Kate Blanchett. I think it's it's a better match than I, I feel that Elrond is to Hugo Weaving. But that's beside the point. Um, we can't have everything, just like we can't have a more flushed out world building because we don't have the Silmarillion. I feel like they they, they it's very very like. All, if you're not a fan, if you haven't read the Silver or anything, the, the minutia of everything won't really affect what you what you're seeing. I think that it would be cooler, and for my own peace of mind and con, and like consistency and continuity, I think it would have been cooler if they had access to some really, and they could flush out some more of like the importance of what's going on, and also given a little bit more of a clearer picture of where they are, because you are kind of stumbling around a little bit in terms of like wait. What's the political situation of Middle Earth, and like what's um, you know what's cracking at this point in time? And um, it's it, it's interesting as far as the two episodes are concerned uh, thus far. It's I I think it's it's pretty good within its own respect. Um, and so I I think that's that's kind of the only thing I'm going to say. The only little like spoiler thing. So you just want to like mute yourself or tune out just for a second 
is that the mystery character that is, that has appeared is heavily hinted to be Gandalf. I don't like that idea of them giving of giving of them giving us Gandalf. I really really hope it's Saruman because that would make more sense. But I I have a feeling that they're going to do the cop-out move and they're going to be like, well, he's familiar to everybody because it's already been kind of hinted and so there's some little things that he's Gandalf. I really hope it's Saruman, though. I would consider that a bold move and, pr like, on the nose if they did that. I don't think it's going to be. End of spoilers. The show is worth watching if you even per even if if you like lord of the rings if you like the world of lord of the rings then it's definitely worth worth watching you won't be um you won't be off thrown off there's one little thing in terms of like the, the it, it, and it may not be anything it could just be like something that i that i just saw and maybe paranoia there, there's one thing like cuz as i said with like the black characters they don't feel forced they feel very natural and integrated into the world however when like a main character does something and the camera cuts to like side characters or extras to kind of get the reaction of what's going on or like the cheering on or whatever it is. It's always like cut to a white and a black and white and a black. And that may not be anything, but it felt like conditioning. It felt like some kind of visual conditioning and it could, it could be nothing. I'm just, we'll, we'll see. That'll be something that'll develop as time goes on. And you know, we'll be able to point that out and go, it's deliberate or it's just coincidental and editing choice. But so within context, the show's fine. It's not nearly as bad as everybody thought it was going to be. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm, anx I'm anxious to see what's going on. I, I, it's, it's already kind of announced who like Sauron is. Um, and I personally don't like... I personally would have not done that with the creative direction. But they don't have access to the Silmarillion. So it makes sense that they have to do what they're doing with Sauron and how they're doing it this way. And who knows? There's a lot of ground to play with. I think that they could do this. They, if they do this correctly, there's a lot of ways they could do this correctly. And there's a lot of ways they could fumble it. But who knows? So far, this show feels very much closer to the 2000s, like the early 2000s where Lord of the Rings was, as opposed to more of like a modern, like 2022 where we are. On terms of the spectrum of where like the filmmaking and story direction and like things like that, I think that we are safely in the in the past compared to the future. And little nitpick, I don't like the way they say certain words, and I think that there were it's it's dumb, like Morgoth or Galadriel, like too forced. It's if you rewatching Lord of the Rings again and you hear that sort of stuff, it's way more natural. This is too forced. That's just a little nitpick. But go ahead and watch the show. If you don't want to, don't, and don't complain about it. Just watch the darn thing, or just shut up, but don't complain. <laughs>